Right folks, let's try this again now that I'm outside the cafeteria. So, I'm in shots today. I'm here to go to Paul's Parcels and give them the donations that you guys in the Two Davies Topical Chat Show have been donating. So, we'll make our way in and out and uh, hand the cash over which I've got in my pocket. Now, with food price inflation hitting 17.1% this morning, the two biggest worries on people's minds at the moment are the electricity prices and the rising price of food. Now, a year ago today, food price inflation hit 4%. At the moment, after 12 months, your annual food shop has gone up by £801. If you're on benefits, that's no sustainable. If you're on the state pension, that's no sustainable. So, thank you all for the donations that you guys have been making, um, because it is vital at this time. And I'm not going to turn the camera around, but I'm outside Paul's Parcels at the moment, and there is a queue to get into the show. You know? And it tells you something, especially as most of them are young people and one pensioner. Young people on benefits, probably a family, and somebody who's from the state pension, but it looks up. I'm not bringing anybody on camera. It's hard enough for people who have to go to food banks without the indignity of having me sticking a camera in their faces. Um, bring a bloody tear to your eye, actually. So I'm going to pop in now and speak to them. I might go live again if they're quite willing to let me. Uh, may talk to them live, okay. But once again, I want to thank all the patrons on the Two Davies YouTube channel for raising this money. Because, as I say, with food price inflation now at 17.1% and still bloody rising, it's monstrous. Now, if say an ice food shop has went up, went up by £801 a year and we're no bad half, it must be bloody murder for those with benefits. So, I'll hang up my roof and hey, I'll speak to you again shortly, okay? Right folks, um, that's the deed done, that's your money handed over. You did ask me if I wanted photographs and that sort of thing, but there were people in there um, getting foodstuffs who can't afford to feed themselves and their families. And I didn't want the indignity of maybe catching these people on camera. So I'm not going out of in my local hall to say hello to Jerry and apparently his wife who run it and he just let them know that I dropped the money off at the at the food bank okay so thanks again for raising the money and he to be in the back of the shop while people are getting handed food rations because they can't afford to feed themselves is a fucking uh, it's hard it's a hard thing to swallow it really is. Um, and I really hope that your donations, folks, can make a bloody difference. Because when you're seeing young people who can't afford to feed their families having to go to a charity to be able to make it through the week, it's a bloody sickener. Uh, we've got a world-renowned food and drink industry. We're a rich, bloody country, and I'm standing in one of our market towns watching people queuing for freebies. It's fucking sickening, and I mean that. Almost in bloody tears. Right, anyway, folks, that's the money handy there. And uh, I know it's going to make a difference because as I went in, there was four or five people standing as I came out. There was... Maybe ten people waiting. They're in one at a time and they get they ask for things and they're putting the bags for them and it's heart wrenching. I knew and but the day in this hall today and they do it twice in my village a week is they put meals on for people. They cook meals for them. Basically a food kitchen. And they tell me that sometimes that's all the people get to eat is what they get in the food kitchen a couple of times a week. 
I get mental because the rest of the money spent is spent on heating their houses. Absolutely heartbreaking. I'm not bringing anybody on camera. It's indignant. It really is. You imagine having to stand outside a, um, a food bank and wait in queue. You know the indignity of it. It's. I'm not with the day that people. People deserve a wee bit of dignity. You know, there's no much here left in this fucking society, thanks to the house of thieves and carpetbaggers. Anyway, as I said before I went into the store in the previous video, with food price inflation now at 17.1% your, your, your annual shop, now £801 more expensive than what it was on this day last year. A lot of people are just not making it, folks. Anyway, that's that done, so... Thanks very much again for all your donations. I hope you continue to donate. Thank you. I don't know what that is. It's my <laughs> air fresheners. Right, folks, that's me finished in shots. Um, just met the two um, the, the people who set up the charity at the at the hall where they're feeding people today. Um, they do that twice a week in my village and all. They feed people in my village on a Monday and a Friday. Um, at Hall, and those who are um, no well off, um, or can't afford to make it through the week, they can come and get something to eat, pick up a bag of food, um, get a chance to heat up, because as we know, it also operates as a warm bank. We don't just have food banks anymore, we have warm banks where people can go and get a cup of tea and stay warm. It's bloody horrific. Now, the people who run the charity have just asked me if I wanted photographs and things like that. Um, and I said, no. I says, we're no in this for notoriety. Um, Davey and I don't want to make a name for ourselves. And you guys are the people who are doing it. You are the generous folks. Um, but what I was saying there is, it's, it's hard enough for people. Let's no make a fuss and a dance about it because... People need dignity. They need their dignity, especially in these hard times. So, thanks, folks, for raising the money. The good people of North Lanarkshire will benefit from it. And the people of uh, Drumchapel will benefit from it this time around. Now, if you're on YouTube and you're um, buying a super sticker or making a donation, a thank you donation or whatever it is, David and I will dis distribute the money and let you know where it's gone. Um, but I'm not going to make a big sad dog, dog but I'm not, not going to be doing a lot of um, a screenshots for the different organisations. In fact, we'll probably make make the donations electronically once we're set up properly. We'll phone the charities up, we'll find out what their, what their details are, and we'll just um, a, do it that way. Unless one of them, in, uh, unless if, unless if a charity is uh, insisting that we come along, then uh, I don't see the point. So, thank you very much once again for the money that you've raised. It's been donated to the people here in North Lanarkshire, and by Christ, they didn't need it. I didn't realise how bad it was. Sometimes I think we live in a bubble. I really didn't realise how bad it was. And you see these young women, and you know they've got children, queuing up for food parcels because they can't even make it through the week or through the month. It's bloody horrific. Absolutely horrific. And the fact that people are having to go to community halls um, to stay warm and get a cup of tea, that's bloody horrific and all. Anyway, I buy a kick to my system a day. Um, I've been doing myself, but there's always been people running about me to lift me up, you know. But to see these poor buggers, it's a heartbreaker, it really is. Anyway, until the next time Davey and I do this, keep contributing. We'll try and set something up where you can contribute, invite, uh, the, the Facebook audience can contribute and all. Because as I said, the food price and price inflation now it's 17.1%. Your annual food shop being £801 a year dearer for your average family than what it was this time last year. Throwing the electricity prices, increased rent and mortgage costs. 
even people who are working or struggling. And you see it first hand because I live in a bit of a bubble. Um, I live in a bit of a bubble. It's horrific. It really is. Anyway, you guys have a nice day.